<laughs> All right, ladies, it is time to get some lash love in, right? So I'm going to show you some amazing tips and tricks and quickly show you how easy it is to apply these babies. So on this eye, what I did already, and this is what I recommend for everybody, is you take the transplanting gel and you put it on like a regular mascara and you let it dry. So on days where I don't want to do the lashes, this is what I do. So you can see it already, it looks like a regular mascara, right? I have these little itty bitty blonde anemic eyelashes and this is what a normal mascara does for me. Okay, the other thing I do is I put both the lashes or the fibers and the transplanting gel in a cup of very, very warm water. And what this does is it helps to um, loosen up some of the clumps and the fibers and it also helps make the gel um, better consistency, you know, especially in the winter, especially with um, air conditioning or even sometimes humid weather. It just does funny things. So I always do that. All right. So the step, it's a three step process. Easy. You can do this. <laughs> Piece of cake. Three steps. Gel fiber gel. That's all you have to remember. Gel fiber gel. One more time. Gel fiber gel. Okay. You can put this, you can layer it on as many times as you, as you want. Um, usually once is more than enough for me. So you put the gel on. Again, it's very much like a mascara. Similar consistency. Um, it's actually a little sticky I guess maybe it dries so you don't have to worry about being permanently sticky but it's sticky so the fibers attach to it so I put it on the tops and the bottoms I get a nice coat on there now with the gel or with the fibers I only put it on the top half of my lashes um, the reason I do that is I don't like the feeling of the fibers when they get close to my eyeball so I just can you see that? Isn't that awesome? So I just literally put them on the top half, half of my eyelashes. And get them on there nice and good. All right, last coat. Remember, gel, fiber, gel. We get this on and we seal those fibers on so that they don't fall off during the day. And with the gel, you can always get close to your lash line. So that's not a problem. Like I said, tops and bottoms, seal those fibers on. Now, most days I go in and I just quickly touch, you're going to like this, I just quickly touch with a blow dryer. That's right, a hair blow dryer. And I, I blow my eyelashes up. And what it does is it just gets rid of a few of the fibers that maybe weren't sticking to my lashes so that they don't have a tendency of falling off a little later in the day. And sometimes you will get a couple fibers. I just did that. Isn't that awesome? Everybody does it, ladies. <laughs> um, and I don't like putting the fibers on my bottom lashes just because, again, I don't like the fibers getting close to my eyeballs. And, um, you know, my bottom lashes seem fine without it. So there we go. That is how easy it is to apply. Can you see those amazing lashes? Look at that. Little anemic blonde eyelashes. I've got eyelashes. They look like falsies. <clears throat> I can head out. They'll last all day long, too. So I'll go to work, um, even with allergies, and I'm rubbing my eyes as long as I'm, well, with allergies. Don't rub your eyes. They'll stay on if you don't rub your eyes. <laughs> if you rub your eyes, odds are they're going to come off. But with allergies, I'll just go and dab at the corner of my eyes with a Kleenex, and these will stay on all day long. So there you go, ladies. This is the magic mascara. Gotta get some. Bye.